Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. I am currently upstairs in our second floor living room. It is so chaotic. It's crazy up here, but I'm on a mission. This week is my 36th birthday weekend week. I'm turning 36 and I don't want to have any kind of housework or anything. I don't want to be thinking about the upstairs being crazy and messy. Um, and I had mentioned in the last video about needing to go ahead and like swap out all the things that don't fit, all the clothes that my kids don't wear, all the things. So it's going to be kind of a cleaning marathon today. We just did a bunch of laundry downstairs. There's a couple more loads that are going to need are gonna need to be done as well. I'm gonna try to get this, get this whole upstairs straightened up. I need to take out some toys, you know, and all the things. So that is on the agenda today. We are doing some spring cleaning. We are really tackling the upstairs in this video rather than other tasks, you know, like my daily, everyday things I do. I've already done dishes this morning, taken out trash, like all those things. Uh, but this is going to be more focused on cleaning and organizing and decluttering the second floor of our house. That is what we are going to get started doing now. This is what I like to call my rage clean. I just start yelling and feel all hot and red inside, you know, as I'm doing this because Uh, yeah, I just end up rage cleaning, but it needs to be done. It needs to get done. And if I don't take care of it, it's not gonna get any better. When it has not been deep cleaned or really gone through in a long time, you know, upstairs, I'm often very overwhelmed when I get started. Like I don't know where to start because this is overwhelming. I don't let my personal space get to this level. And I know like it's my fault because I allow them to keep cleaning up after themselves. Uh, but it, like they have to learn the responsibility. I feel like, you know, I could hire cleaners and things like that to come in and take care of these things. But ultimately like they need to learn how to do basic household chores and things like that. So I don't expect everything to be perfect, but honestly like <laughs> there are times that i just don't think they try at all you know just so that i don't keep asking them to do this you know but i think i'm gonna start on my son's room because he has the least amount of stuff he half the time sleeps on the couch in the second floor living room area i don't really know why i think it gets i think his room probably gets the warmest out of all of the areas um so I'm gonna get started on his. His has the most manageable mess. I pretty much just need to get all of his drawers organized and um, I need to take off the bedding and all of those things. So that's what we're gonna get started doing. I feel the least overwhelmed in his room. <laughs>
Okay, first room is done. We are nice and organized. The only thing is the beds are not fully put together. I just have the fitted sheets because the other pieces are in the wash, but this is nice. It's a nice change from those beddies, which I'm not really a huge fan of the ones that we got for in here. Anyway, these will be nice, light and breathable sheets. I actually do plan to go this summer to let him pick out some things of his own. Um, you can see I have a couple of the peel and stick wallpaper uh, samples on the walls because I've just been trying to decide what we're gonna do and still I don't even know if that's gonna be what we end up doing. But anyway, the room is so nice and clean and refreshed. Uh, the drawers are all nice and organized now. So much, much better. As well as his closet, it's much better organized. Things are hung up. Moving on, this is Lennon and Lane's room, though Lane is still in our room. Lennon is my hoarder child. Like all the things in here that are a complete mess to me are absolute comfort items to her. So like she piles things up in her bed. How she sleeps in there, I have no idea. But we're gonna change over the sheets. I got some cute new little pink striped ones to change out from Target. Most of this is just like cleaning and then I have to go through her closet their closet and try to get rid of some stuff. There are so many wallpaper options I love for this room. Like this strawberry wallpaper is the sweetest wallpaper I've ever seen. So we'll go ahead and get started in this room. Finally, we are done in here. We have greatly decreased the amount of things in here. Again, we have organized the drawers and everything fits in them. This is Lane's side over here and there's some laundry I need to bring upstairs as well, but their beds are nice and refreshed. Um, there's only this one comforter. I don't have one for this side, but again, Lane is still sleeping in our room for right now, so it's fine. And there's one thing about me, it's I just do not like to have a whole bunch of stuff in the room. I feel like it takes up their ability to have space to play. So I love anytime I can put a dresser or anything like that into a closet to save space out in the room. I really, really try to do. I took all the things that were on the hangers over here. It's all 
outgrown Matilda Jane stuff and I was going back and I've been going back and forth whether or not I want to keep it you know and pass down to my girls you know or Kyan if they ever have children. I also have other people like I could you know give it to so it's really hard for me to let it go because so much of it is in such great shape and so many pieces are just so timeless. I just loved Matilda Jane when my girls were super into it. Those are all things that are all completely grown out. I mean, they still definitely have Matilda Jane things still. It's much less and kind of sad we're out of that stage for linen pretty much. This feels so good. This feels amazing to have all the floors nice and cleaned, clutter free. I mean, this is night and day and then i love at night whenever it's dark and they have their sweet little star lights on it's so cute and i don't know if i had mentioned this but these beds are replaced uh when we first moved in they had this set that we've had for years since luna was much younger which luna is our oldest so they were metal they were the jenny lynn style i got them from wayfair but they had been through quite a few moves and were in such bad shape so i went to wayfair again and got the wooden version of the jenny lynn style bed i have to look up the price for it for them because i don't remember how much it was but i'm pretty sure i paid like two or three hundred dollars for both of these twin size beds and the colors match perfectly with their dress uh, this smaller dresser that one is from ikea it's a pale pink color and then this one is just a cheap dresser that we got from wayfair would not recommend it it is really really cheap but i just needed something to help organize all of the clothes that these two girls have i think it's been about four or five hours that i have been tackling these two rooms i haven't even gotten to the main living space and that's the part, that's the one I'm dreading the most because there's just so many little things in there. The cushion, the cushion covers need to all be taken off and like bleached. So there's just so much in that living room, but I feel like I am on such a roll and I am gonna feel so much better when it's done, especially before my birthday. I won't have to worry about any of this stuff for the next couple of months, I hope. And again, hopefully we will figure out what we're gonna do as far as the decor in this room. I think I've mentioned before in previous videos, but I would really love ideally either to do the wallpaper on like the top quarter of the wall and then either beadboard or board and batten, something like that on the bottom half or do wallpaper on this whole wall and then do like board and batten or beadboard on the other three walls and just paint so kind of trying to figure out exactly what would be super cute and sweet in here and then get a new light and all the things but this room i think will be pretty easy to complete because i mean really we've already got their beds furniture and stuff it's really just going to be the design on the walls and a new light fixture here are two different piles i have so far for laundry my trash bag is about half full the vacuum already needs to be emptied as well. These are all the shoes that need to go as well. So we are getting somewhere, I feel like.
after many, many hours, many hours. It is done up here in this living room. I did not take the cushion covers off. Those need to be bleached. So they are still stained and dingy right now, but overall, <laughs> like a brand new space i have not done luna's room when she gets home from school in a few we will do that together and i'll do the bathroom up here and then we're done good morning it is the next day i kind of just fell off with filming everything i was doing yesterday i ended up pulling something straining something like the carpal tunnel in my right wrist right now absolutely out of control it hurts so bad so um that my body was tired i was just exhausted it literally took me about eight to nine hours to get this entire upstairs like deep cleaned the only thing i haven't done is like wipe down all of our baseboards i every time i vacuum i like to go ahead and take the attachment and go across so I, like i'll vacuum a lot of the dust and everything off of the baseboards, but I have not actually wiped them down. So like wiping down all the baseboards, like all the window sills, again, I will vacuum all of those, wipe them down, but I don't do like a wet wipe of everything. The windows and I'm not shampooing carpets, but other than that, I mean, I feel like we were able to purge a lot of stuff yesterday, got a lot of stuff out of here, a lot of toys, a lot of trash. I will show you the trash bag. We just double bagged it. Black trash bag full of trash from up here. It's just crazy. But I wanted to mention this morning when I got the kids up for school, both my son and my daughter woke up in such great moods. My son was so happy to be in his bed. Um, he has been sleeping on the couch upstairs for a little while and I've not known whether it's been like fear or if it's because he's just uncomfortable in his room because he was sleeping in his room. Before I bought the Bettys, he had no problem sleeping in his room and then I put those on his bed and he stopped sleeping in there. He was just sleeping on the upstairs living room couch so he was so happy i put you know those light weighted um sheets on his bed so he felt so comfortable last night like it was no problem for them to get up they actually both made their beds of course linen kind of tinkered around and did some stuff in her room but that was going to be expected because she is just a creature of the things that she likes and even if it's chaotic in my mind for her it's it's comfort though i just really believe that the chaos of an unclean or unkempt house or room whatnot bathrooms i feel like those cause so much more stress sorry if you can hear the dog he is so loud i just think that we all relax better we all feel better when our spaces are clean and orderly and it's just so much better. So still more stuff that needs to be gone through and sorted out to see what needs to be removed. I have about three containers already of stuff to donate. The other thing, I need to find either shelters or something along those lines that I can donate other stuff to, you know, that a lot of places won't take. As gross as I think that it uh, could be, I would really, really love to donate all of the beddies. It, the way that the bedding is, it's zipped up. So it's like a really plush sleeping bag, pretty much. And I absolutely hate to waste things or like, you know, I feel like they should be reused. And so I hate not being able to donate that kind of stuff. I can only imagine. I understand why you can't donate, but it's frustrating because I don't want to waste. And the bedding is in such good condition. I like, especially the top bunk stuff. I really need to figure out a way to donate that because there are so many people that can use these things. And uh, like, I don't want them to pay for it either. Like, I just want to give stuff away. I am the total opposite of most people. <laughs> or at least a lot of people, especially like, like my mom is a big person that will try to resell things. My friends, big resellers. I just don't have the time or the patience. Like if I get a pair of shoes that don't fit, they're most likely gonna sit in my, my car. 
I'm the worst at returning things or, or trying to sell things, you know, like on a neighborhood page or a Facebook marketplace. I just don't like that. I don't feel safe. I don't like it at all. It makes me uncomfortable. So I, and then I just think there's too many people out there that are in need. And if I can be in a position to not have to sell them something, um, I prefer that. I'm curious, are you in a big spring cleaning mood right now? To take it back to that. <laughs> I am just wanting everything to be so clean and, and organized before we go into summer because you already know what it's gonna be like when your kids are out for summer break. It's just gonna go sh straight to chaos. So if I can go into summer and the kids getting out of school with a nice refresh, I think summer should hopefully go by much smoother. That's what I'm telling myself anyway, okay? I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's gonna just get right back to where it was. And we'll be doing this again in a couple months. So you can see where we're at with the upstairs living room. I have no idea who spilled something here. This space is so much better. Everything is absolutely completely vacuumed out of all the cushions, out of the couches, all the deep crevices, everything is done. The couches, I moved them completely, vacuumed under all of the spaces there, I vacuumed some of the cushions. We organized, so in those drawers, which is still temporary, that has just been a temporary drawer situation that we got while we were in Texas. Uh, it's from Ikea, it's really poorly built. Not the best, but we use it at storage. Pretty much just some other toys, like not very many things, but mostly books actually. The amount of times I vacuumed over these floors to try to get everything up, pretty much almost broke my vacuum yesterday. All this area is all vacuumed and cleaned. My son's room is all straightened and organized. All of his drawers are completely straightened and organized. We got rid of so many of his things. Um, again, his closet is all completely refreshed and cleaned out as well. The bathtub I cleaned out as well. So this is all clean. All the toys are cleaned. Um, there were some weird stains. I don't know if the kids had like some bath tub paint or something, uh, but there's something in that corner that I need to also find a different product to try to clean that. In Linen and Lane's room, you can see where Linen really started to adjust things the way that she likes them, the things that work for her, which is fine as long as it's up here and not all over the floor under the beds, you know? So their room is so nice and refresh and clean. The only thing is she did bring this from the living room, which I'm gonna have to see if <laughs> she can survive with it in the living room. I mean, I don't, I just really want them to have the optimal space like on the floors and to move around in their rooms that I don't, want these big things because that was exactly why I went ahead and put the kitchen set in here as well which you can see she's already again <laughs> reorganizing some of the stuff putting stuff in here I do not know the method to her madness and why she does things but whatever it is still her space and then over on that side of the wall we just have those wallpaper swatches I had already shown and then her cute little artwork I need to get either a frame or I was thinking of getting like one of those like little twinkle light strands that you can put the little clips on and then that way she can change out her art. Curtis had also mentioned a different frame where you can just change out the papers. Like it has all the corners on there that you can slide the corners in. So again, I can't really, I really can't wait to get started on fully decorating this room. Then just because my oldest daughter is about to turn 13 i do want to completely keep her room as her space and her private space it's for her to decide what is shown um the only reason that i show my younger kids is because it's seriously like so it's just so different i'm not sure it's probably not really different it's probably the same exact thing i don't know what the words are the last thing we spent some time doing was sweeping all the stairs and then i just steam mopped the entire staircase. So this is a lot of work, it was so worth it. So the current status of downstairs basically is laundry. Also shout out, this is such a fun marble run. Very intimidating before we put it together, before Curtis and the girls put it together. But 
they this thing has been hours and hours of entertainment so worth it uh but laundry again my kitchen is pretty good it just needs to be straightened up here's our big bag of trash from downstairs from upstairs the floors need to be done um, and then those are some of the linen linens that need to be washed and then some of the beddies that i need to figure out what i'm going to do with but most of everything down here just needs to be straightened up and floors as well as laundry. Welcome to my chaotic closet. <sighs> it's actually looking beyond better than what it did not that long ago. <laughs> um, I have slowly been trying to get it organized and straightened up. And again, like getting rid of stuff, moving containers, all the things, but it still needs so much work. And the problem is, is like the organization and these like metal racks and stuff like that just don't provide a very like it doesn't provide a good space to get your stuff organized and displayed and so you can find everything so easily so my hope is to get a custom closet put in at some point but you know obviously all these things that i would love to do because it's gonna sound so crazy but I would love to completely redo this whole bathroom altogether, but obviously those things are like thousands and thousands of dollars. So, um, what I think would be good in the meantime would still be a closet organization system. Uh, so I'm looking around trying to figure out, I know I see so many videos on the Ikea pack system, but I don't know. I don't know. And then when I'm going through clothes and stuff, I have the hardest time. I don't know how many people, I'm sure there's so many people like me in this sense, but like I have such a hard time because for me, like my weight for one will fluctuate. So like, I'm always a little nervous to get rid of things that maybe I have a little bit more room to grow into. And then like warm stuff. I'm always afraid to get rid of, rid of warm stuff because we live in Florida. We like literally the most I ever need is a sweatshirt. Um, but I don't ever want to get rid of my warm stuff because I'm always thinking, okay, well, when I don't need it is when, or when I don't have it is when I'm going to need it one of these days. And just some clothes that I, I really don't ever wear, but I'm always like, oh, there's going to be one day that we take photos and I'm going to want to have this dress, uh, which I have a, quite a few Lulu dresses and they're just they're nicer or more elegant or I don't know if elegance is the right word but they're for more dressy they're more dressy uh dresses and so like I literally never go anywhere <laughs> it's not literally okay that's dumb uh but I pretty much never go to any kind of event or anything that I really need to be super dressed up for uh but again it's one of those things if I don't have it when we went back to Charleston a couple of years ago, I we were going back for my girlfriend's wedding and we had to stop and shop there because I had nothing to wear. So it's just hard going through your stuff because you're always thinking, what if, what if I need this? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. What is your process? Are you like a uh, organization, like if you haven't worn something in the last three months, are you just, it's gone or what? I need help. <laughs> You know, I put a rug in here, the one I had in our living room at one point, but I put it in here because it's all tile and it's just nice sound barrier that in here. It's really just temporary. It's, uh, I didn't want to throw it out just yet because it's fine, uh, but I had nowhere else to put it. So just put it in here and I want to buy the other Pottery Barn dresser, the tall six drawer dresser that matches the furniture that we have in our room and i want to put it here and just do something different like it would be nice if either this went away or like we lifted it up some so that it would fit but we need more space because we have like tons of t-shirts and like casual things that you don't need to hang up you know we need to do something with that we need to figure out you know these are kind of the things that curtis needs to decide what all he's keeping and what all he is getting rid of but it does look so much better even though like there's stuff like when someone else puts away the laundry in our house like if they don't know where it goes it just gets thrown up here but i have a ton of 
scrubs that I can't even wear because we use hospital laundered scrubs. But then, you know, I don't want to get rid of those because I don't know if I'm going to be working here forever. So, you know, it's all these things when I'm trying to go through and organize and figure out what to do with my stuff because I just have a ton of what ifs.